we celebrate baptism together as we observe the baptism of five candidates today. Um, as Baptist Jesus followers, our tradition has two ordinances. One called the Lord's Supper that we remember the work of Christ done on our behalf with the cup and with the bread. But we also practice the ordinance of baptism. We believe baptism to be symbolic. In other words, it does not impart grace nor sacramental, but it is symbolic. It is a picture. It is an outward picture of the inward change. Every person that is walking through the waters this afternoon has received Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. They've been born again. They're Jesus followers. And so we practice believer's baptism. After someone believes, they're baptized. And obviously you'll see that we baptize by immersion that we actually place people under the water and bring them back out. Of course, some parents have asked if we hold them under a little bit longer today, but uh, that we don't do, of course. But um, from, our, from our perspective, it is a beautiful picture. When you practice baptism, baptism by immersion, you have this beautiful picture. For instance, I will say, uh, buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in the newness of life. As I'm placing them under the water and bringing them back up, it is a beautiful picture of dying to self and being raised in Christ. And so today we celebrate this ordinance. We celebrate this command. We celebrate believers' baptism together today. Natalie accepted Christ a little while ago back, and today she comes to be baptized by immersion. And Natalie, because you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it's my distinct pleasure today to baptize you, my little sister in Christ. And so today, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. Raised to walk in life. Amen. One of the things that uh, you don't know today, well, you do know. John McEwen has had a profound impact in your life and is a good friend and has shared with you faith on many occasions and so we're going to ask John to baptize you today and so he's actually coming around the corner this is like a game show I know but it's really cool it's really cool and so um, we're going to let John baptize you and I move the stool since you probably don't need to stand on the stool today so you're good man <laughs> surprise <laughs> all right well I'm going to coin in on what Pastor Brad said this is actually a celebration today but this celebration didn't start today. This is a continuation of many prayers, answered prayers, and God is still in the miracle business. Praise God. Um, we're thankful for all the friends and family that are here today to witness this uh, just amazing testimony of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, in Luke 15:10, I believe it is, uh, our Lord and Savior says, um, when a sinner repents, the angels of heaven rejoice. So this is just a continuation of the rejoicing of heaven. So we're going to join in with the, the uh, celebration. So Rick, i got questions for you. Have you asked Jesus Christ into your heart? Yes. And to the best of your ability, will you serve him for the rest of your life? Yes. Well, based on that public profession of faith, it's my privilege, my honor as your brother in Christ to baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Him in baptism, and raised to walk in newness of life. I love you, I love you, I love you. This is Kelsey, and Kelsey knows Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior. And today she comes through the waters, these baptismal waters, and it's our privilege today to celebrate this baptism with her. And so Kelsey, because you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it's my privilege today to baptize you, my little sister in Christ. And so today I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. Praise to walk in life. Amen. Jennifer, because you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior as well, it's my privilege today to baptize you, my little sister in Christ. And so today I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. Praise and Anna too knows Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior and today comes to walk through these waters. 
And because of your profession of faith and love for Jesus Christ, it's my privilege today to baptize you, my little sister in Christ. And today I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in life.